Hello, my name is Snorf. Nintendo hosted their digital event today. In this video, I'm basically going to be rounding up all of the news that dropped from today's digital event. There was also some news that broke after um, the digital event, like more game announcements. I will be covering those announcements in this video as well. Um, so I'm going to start with the digital event, and then after that, I'll go and talk about um, all of the stuff that got announced after the digital event. So the digital event started off with Reggie in Claymation in a press conference format. Reggie made a joke and uh, um, said that um, they said we weren't, we weren't going to do a press conference, which was pretty funny. Um, they just made a joke about all of the you know people crying about the fact that Nintendo weren't doing a press conference. They then cut to a fight with Awata and Reggie in real life, which looked pretty cool. Um, that alone has won E3 for me. Um, and then they cut to Smash Brothers where Reggie and Awata were using their Miis and they were fighting with their Miis. Um, Reggie beat Awata like, originally, but then Awata pulled out a Mario figurine and basically beat Reggie. Um, so Miis have been confirmed for Super Smash Brothers. There's going to be three types of Miis. There's the Mii Brawlers, Sword Fighters, Gunners. Each can have four special moves from 12 options. So you get to pick your moves. Um, I'm really happy about Miis being in Smash Brothers. I probably will pick my Mii as being a Sword Fighter. So Brawlers are fast and strong. Sword fighters are weapon masters and gunners are armed with cannons. Um, after that, a lot of Super Smash Bros. 3DS game modes were shown. Um, the 3DS version will be launching on the 3rd of October, so it has been pushed back from summer. It's now going to be releasing in the autumn. And the Wii U version will be launching holiday 2014. Um... As I said before, I want to pull out a figurine. Um, figurines will be playable or they will be able to be compatible with Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Um, Nintendo then explained these NFC figurines. Its official name now is Amiibo and it's a Wii U ex exclusive for the gamepad. Wii U consoles recognise Amiibo figurines when they're touched to the Wii U gamepad. Smash Brothers for Wii U will be the first game to support Amiibo. When you use an Amiibo figure, that character will appear in game. Your Amiibo will compete in battles, developing its own attributes and skills. You can fight Amiibo yourself, have them fight other Amiibo, or they can join and fight as a team. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to play as your Amiibo, or whether... Your amiibo just appears and it just does its own thing. I'm not exactly sure about that at this moment in time. Um, amiibo will be used in Mario Kart 8 as well. Probably will be new racers or new characters added onto the roster through this method. Um, so that alone has just justified me purchasing these amiibos just because I absolutely love Mario Kart 8. And if there's going to be new races through these amiibos, then I will be picking up these Amiibos. Um, the Amiibos will launch alongside Smash Brothers. That's just a brief explanation on what Amiibo is. Bill Trinan, I think his name is, did a video on YouTube. I will leave a link to that video because he basically explained what Amiibos are in more detail. So make sure you guys check out that in the description. I'll also leave a link to the digital event in the description for you guys to check out as well. That's if it is uploaded onto YouTube. Um, the next talked about Yoshi Yarn. It is now called Yoshi's Woody Woolly World. Not Woody World, Yoshi's Woolly World. And it looks like, it basically looks like a granite knitted again. That's basically what it looks like. The colours pop out. Um, it looks it looks pretty cool actually, like the visuals of the game. Um, there is no time limit in levels, unlike Mario. 
This allows for more exploration. The game features a co-op mode. Um, Yoshi can eat other Yoshis and it can spit them out. It makes for interesting gameplay. It kind of kind of reminds me of Mario in New Super Mario Brothers U. Um, when you're in a Yoshi, you could pick up, you know, say like if somebody was playing as Luigi, you could eat up Luigi and then just spit them out. So that kind of reminds me of that. Um, the next game that they talked about, or that what they're showing off in the digital event, is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This new game is based off of the Toad levels on Super Mario 3D World. It looks like the gamepad will offer first person point of view. In the trailer you could see piranha plants on the gamepad from Toad's perspective which looks pretty cool. This game is coming out holiday 2014. Um, and Yoshi's um, Woolly World has got a release date of 2015. And you will be seeing that quite a lot. A lot of games that I'm going to be talking about in this video do have a release date of 2015. So the next game that they're showing off was the new Zelda game. It will be coming out in 2015. The scene rate looks absolutely stunning. I'm not sure about Link's um, design, but um, you know, I guess I'll just get used to it over time. But the new Zelda game will be open world. Um, so the trailer looks absolutely brilliant. But like I said, I'm not really sure about Link's character design. But like I said before, I'll just get used to it. I'm looking forward to the fact that this Zelda game will be open world. The next game that they're showing off was Pokemon Omega, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. We got our first proper gameplay footage of the next Pokemon game. It is based off of the X and Y engine, so it is kind of 3D. Um, starters will have mega evolutions. I did break this news earlier on my channel, so if you missed out on that video, I will leave a link to that video in the description for you guys to check out. Um, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire launches on the 21st of November. And then showing Bayonetta 2 in a new trailer. Original Bayonetta will come with Bayonetta 2. Now I'm not sure if this is a separate bundle or um, if it's like the game itself. But I think Nintendo UK tweeted out saying that it is a separate bundle. Um, I will definitely be picking up this um, bundle just because I haven't played the first Bayonetta. Um, but in the first Bayonetta, Link and Samus outfits are available for Bayonetta. The game will be launching on October 2014. Next showed Hyrule Warriors. Midna and Zelda are going to be playable characters alongside Link. And I can't remember what his name is. I can't remember but there's another dude as well. I'm sure you guys are commenting right now saying who the fourth playable character is. But today they announced Midna and Zelda as playable characters. Um, there's going to be a two player mode but it's not going to be split screen because one person will be on the TV and the other person will be on the gamepad which makes for more immersive gameplay. I'm really really looking forward to Hyrule Warriors, can't wait to pick up this game. Um, that game will be launching on the 26th of September this year. The next showed a new Kirby game for Wii U called Kirby Rainbow Curse. That game will be coming out in 2015. And the next showed X, which which now will be called Xenoblade Chronicles X, and will be coming out in 2015. A lot more Xenoblade details got released as well. Um, so basically, I'm just going to read out um, some of the um, details that got released about Xenoblade Chronicles X today. So a terrible intergalactic war leaves just a handful of earth survivors trying to live in a beautiful yet hostile environment players engage in battles against powerful creatures of all forms and sizes using a deep battle system that builds on the triumphs of xenoblade chronicles for wii 
Riding and controlling a weaponized mech, players can explore every inch of the massive open world displayed in gorgeous high definition graphics. The world is filled with strange and imaginative creatures from small bugs to giant dinosaurs. As characters improve in different classes, they will learn new combat and defensive skills or arts. Players can customize the arts palette as their characters learn new arts. All arts have a recast time or reload time once cast. The player must wait out a cooldown period before that art can be used again. Players can be um, customised. You can customise the main character's appearance including gender, shapes, height, skin colour, voice and tattoos. I was actually watching the um, Nintendo Treehouse live stream, which is why you are seeing this video quite late just because I have been watching um, some of the, the Treehouse live streams and just been catching up on some of the stuff that I did miss out on which I will be talking about later on in this video but in the Treehouse live stream Play Chronicles X looks absolutely amazing I can't wait to pick up this game but I think I might have talked about this before I did say that X it might have been on Twitter or in another direct roundup video but I did say that X could get pushed back into 2015 and Xenoplay Chronicles X will be coming out in 2015. So this game has been pushed back from this year to next year, which is a bit unfortunate. I was looking forward to picking up this game. The trailer that they did release looks absolutely stunning. So the next game that they're showing off was Mario Maker. You can make Mario levels. You can reskin it to look like the original Mario game or the newest Mario game, which is New Super Mario Brothers U. That will be coming out in 2015. Nintendo then shown off a new IP which for me is the highlight of this digital event and it's called Splatoon. It is an 8, an eight player online third person shooter where you have to shoot ink all over the map. T the team with the largest amount of their ink on the map wins. You can switch between squid and human. You can swim faster in your own ink but you can get stuck as a human if you go into the opposition's um, area or opposition's ink so basically as a human you shoot the ink as a squid you get to swim through the ink and then get to new areas so you can shoot more areas with your ink um, characters can swim really really fast through their own ink you shoot ink as a person to claim territory swim through ink as a as a squid Use gamepad gyro sensor for a better view. There's also a map on the gamepad screen. And also on the gamepad map, it lets you fast travel to enemies. Um, squid tastic. <laughs> I just read that out. Can't believe I read that bit out, but yeah, that's what I just um, copied and pasted. But basically, the game looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to pick up this game. Um, so Splatoon, you aim your ink using a gamepad controller, um, controller's motion control, which is pretty cool. Um, Splatoon will be coming out in 2015. Um, and then after that, uh, I think it was um, another Smash Brothers trailer, um, Palo Tena from the Fire Emblem series. I might have pronounced that wrong, so I must apologise about that. But... Palo Tena has been confirmed as a playable character in the next Smash Brothers game. And then after that, I think it was Miyamoto showed up showing three games. Or he basically said that he's got games in development um, showing what the gamepad can do. And that was basically it for the digital event. But that wasn't it for game announcements because afterwards Mario Party 10 got announced. Basically, Bowser will be the star of the show. Players will be able to battle four friends with Bowser who can control on the Wii U gamepad. There's also a whole host of new attractions and mini games. I'm hoping that this game has online multiplayer. Uh, I think the Mario Party series would benefit from having online multiplayer. But the next game that got shown off in a IGN. 
um, live stream is a Wii U exclusive called Devil's Third. And this game looks really, really interesting. Um, this game is being developed by Ninja Garden director Tom Tomonobe Atage. I can't pronounce his name. But basically the game is going to be action. Action game marries melee combat and cover and first person shooting. Also features objective based attack slash defend competitive multiplayer modes a level editor and character customization um you should definitely check out the trailer for devil's third i will leave a link to that in the description for you guys to check out but that looks absolutely brilliant really looking forward to that game i'm not sure when that game's coming out it probably will come out in 2015 like the vast majority of games that i've talked about um previously and then the last or well, the last couple of things that i have to talk about is that there's going to be a Smash Brothers bundle, um, and there's also going to be a game a GameCube controller adapter for Wii, which I talked about last week. That will cost nineteen ninety nine US dollars. Um, there's going to be a Smash Brothers GameCube game, GameCube controller, excuse me, which will cost twenty nine ninety nine US dollars. And Nintendo also announced a special bundle, which includes a copy of Smash Brothers. One adapter and a GameCube controller for $99.99 US dollars. And the last two things I have to talk about is Miyamoto showed off two new games that he's been working on in the Treehouse live stream. One was called Project Robot, if I'm not mistaken, and it's basically a mech fighting game. And um, the next game that he showed off was Project guardian i think it is called or project guards i can't remember exactly what the name is um unfortunately i didn't write it down um but basically what this game is it's it's basically using the gamepad um you've got a load of um security cameras on a tv screen and basically robots are trying to invade your area and you've basically got to stop them from doing that by um using the cameras to shoot them so basically basically if you spot an enemy on camera one you click on camera one you use the camera to shoot down that robot and to prevent the robot from invading your area that's basically what that game is like and obviously uh, star fox for the wii u has been announced i did make a separate video talking about um uh, star fox for the wii u so if you missed out on that video I will leave links to that video in the description for you guys to check out. I must apologise about the fact that this video is quite late. Um, I, I'm basically just gathering notes and you know just trying to cover a lot of information. So I was gathering notes and then I read about Devil's Third and then you know Miyamoto's new games. There's a lot of information to cover, so that's why you are seeing this video late. Uh, or quite late so that's going to be the end of this video i'm going to make a video soon where i talk about my thoughts about the um, nintendo digital event and nintendo at e3 i don't think it's fair for me to give an opinion at this moment in time just because nintendo do have a lot more stuff going on at this year's e3 it's not just this digital event so i probably will talk about um the digital event and my thoughts about it um, in the video um, coming up soon on my channel so this video is just going to be rounding up all of the information hope you guys did find this video useful if you did please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Wii U content so there was definitely a lot of information for me to cover in this video I might have even missed out on some more announcements, you know, at the time of me making this video. So, um, what I will be doing on my channel is I will be doing like day roundups from now on. So, um, at the end of tomorrow, I will be doing a roundup video, and same with the next day as well. Just because um, Nintendo have got Treehouse live streams happening, um, so I will be doing roundup videos for them. 
So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm out of here for now. Goodbye.